Tell us what the free speech part of it. So recently they brought a bill to Congress and this was actually a binding bill, not a non-binding resolution. Like right. this was going to have the effect of law and people would get, you know, prosecuted if they um, engaged in anti-Semitism on campuses. And the problem with this bill is they use some international definition of anti-Semitism on a website somewhere. My first question is, why don't you just put the definition in the bill? Why are you pointing to somebody's URL in a, a piece of legislation? So I went to this website and it's got a you know fairly short definition, but it's also got examples of things that would be considered anti-Semitism. And some of these are actually passages in the New Testament, if you will, would be banned by this international definition of anti-Semitism. For instance, saying that uh, Jews killed Jesus, which is you know in the Bible, he was he was not welcome among his own people. Okay. Um, it, and so that would be anti-Semitism. And if you engaged in that on campus or just offered that as a thought, let's say in a classroom, you would be anti-Semitic and you would run afoul of the Department of Education and some federal laws. And, you know, there were other examples in there that were hard to believe. For instance, comparing the policies of Israel to, to the Nazi regime would be anti-Semitic. But the question is, what if, their, what if their policies ever became the same? Is this a static definition? My constituents aren't falling for it. Two weeks ago, I just had a primary and got 76% of the vote with APAC running hundreds of thousands of dollars of ads. They've spent mil you know millions of dollars against you over the years and it has had no effect. You get reelected in the primary in the 70s. So like, why are they still spending against you in, in your state, statewide? Well, um, they say that they don't want me to run statewide. They're worried that I'll run for McConnell's seat. And so they're trying to send me a message. That's what they would tell you. I've never said that I'm running for the Senate, right? Yeah. I, I'm pretty much disinterested in it personally and publicly, but just in case they're running ads statewide. Now, mind you, there are six congressional districts in Kentucky and I only represent one of them. They're running the ads in all six congressional districts just in case this election cycle they spent four hundred thousand dollars against me ninety thousand dollars last fall running tv ads in my district and facebook ads and whatnot even though my election is over they're still running hundreds of thousand dollars of negative ads. so it's it's not working against me i i think it's short-sighted uh on their you know on their side to do this they're just burning money but they're trying to make an example of me but they're also exposing their weakness I think they are. I think they've exposed a real weakness here. And, you know, it used to be just me voting against some of these resolutions. But recently where they tried to ban passages in the New Testament, I think we got like almost two dozen Republicans who said, wait, hold on there. 